Right now, a Cincinnati police officer and two others are injured after a dog attacked them earlier today. The officer on scene, though, shot and killed that dog. So Kendall Hyde has been covering this story all day and joins us now with the latest on this. Kendall. Yeah, Megan and Trisha, as you all look behind me, things are pretty calm here at the Hartwell Recreational Center. But that was not the case earlier today as Cincinnati police filled the parking lot after receiving two reports of people being bitten by a dog earlier today. Now, when the original officer arrived on the scene, she was also chased by that same dog and then bitten. So she retaliated and gave two shots that killed the dog. That dog was attacking some citizens. Uh, two had been bitten when the police arrived on scene. Fraternal Order of Police President and retired Sergeant Dan Hills says that the responding officer called for Hamilton County Dog Warden, then tried to get the dog's attention so that they could keep it away from the public. While she was trying to do that, the dog turned on her, attacked her, bit her on her calf. Initially, Hills says that the officer tried to run away before being attacked, but after she was bitten, police say she had to take action. She discharged her firearm and, and the dog is no longer with us. Responding officers say that it took the dog Ward in nearly 20 minutes to arrive. We only have, I think, two on duty dog wardens in the whole county, so that's typical that they take a while to get there. And we cover all of Hamilton County. Uh, as of right now, I know our officer that responded this morning uh, is currently up in Loveland, so it is often difficult for us to get to scenes immediately. Ray Anderson serves not only as the community engagement manager at Cincinnati Animal Care, but also as the spokesman for the Hamilton County Dog Warden. He says ideally the team would like to have 15 to 20 employees, and at this time they only have nine. He and retired Sergeant Dan Hill say that while it's sad the dog lost his life, they're thankful nobody was seriously hurt during the attack. Now, they turn their focus to finding out who owns this dog or if it's truly a stray. At this time, we have no clear indication of who the dog belongs to. We've interviewed witnesses. We're still trying to find out, but there's no microchip, no collar with tags. I don't even believe the dog was, uh, was neutered. Anderson also wants to remind families that if you have a dog and you don't want it anymore, don't just dump it outside because incidents like this can occur. Simply take it to your nearest shelter and make sure that they are okay. As far as that dog goes, the dog is dead, but it's in Columbus right now undergoing rabies and infections tests. We'll continue to keep you up to date as we learn more. For now, live in Hartwell, Kendall Hyde, Fox 19 Now.